Hello everyone! Welcome to the part 3 of my Singapore vlog. Today's video is about the rest of the activities that we did in SG that I didn't include in the previous videos. I'll show you the last 4 activities that you might enjoy when you travel to SG. For the first activity, we went back to Sentosa. There are activities in Sentosa other than the ones I included in the part 1 of this travel vlog. There's the Wings of Time and the Beach, which we didn't try, and the Skyline Bush, which is the first activity for this video. Skyline Luge is composed of two activities. They have the Sky Ride, which when you ride it, it'll bring you to the top kung saan yung start ng luge nila. Then from there, sa taas, you'll have to drive the luge pababa naman. You have one hour unlimited access to both the Sky Ride and the luge once you get a ticket. So kami, naka three times kami sa Sky Ride and then three times sa luge kasi yun yung umabot dun sa one hour namin inside. Then they have five tracks for the luge and we were able to try three out of five. Although I wasn't able to get a video when riding, kasi ako yung nag drive and baka mabanga ako. I think Skyline Luge is a must try when you visit Singapore, especially if you really love adventures. It's actually my personal favorite out of all the activities that we did when we were in SG. Just remember to wear something comfy because it's not for the Pabebe girls. And of course, they have a souvenir shop like the other activities here in Sentosa. Right after our Skyland Luge adventure, we had to change our clothes because we went to the SG Flyer for dinner. The first activity really made me sweaty but my schedule see SG Flyer for the dinner. So after Skyland Luge, we went straight there. I'll talk about what we ate next week, but for now, I'll talk about the activities that you can do while you're there. So you can choose to either ride the SG Flyer and have an immersive adventure at the time capsule, or book a sky dining, which is yung parang VIP nila. The first one will let you ride for 30 minutes as a flyer that is one rotation and get to learn something about the history of Singapore through their time capsule. Then the skydiving naman will let you skip the queue of flyer. You'll board first, you'll be able to enjoy the flyer for 60 minutes, that is two rotations, while you're having your four-course dinner with an in-flight host. Then you'll also have admission to the time capsule after the dinner. So may time pa before silang mag-close. I enjoyed the view while having dinner because I was able to see the famous spots in the area while on top. Also, 7 p.m. nag start yung dinner, but the sun is yet to set, so nabutan pa namin yung sunset while nasa flyer kami. It's also nice to see Singapore's night lights habang nasa taas. I recommend riding the flyer, kahit the flyer and the time capsule experience lang, and better if pa sunset na, so you'll able to see the night lights. Then after dinner, we then went to the time capsule. It's like an art museum that shows the history of SG, its present time, and what they aim to be in the future. So I think what they are right now is something admirable. You'll also see here the different cultures they have in SG. When I was in SG, I just ko lang na yung mga tao dun, they are of different um, nationalities. So may mga Chinese, may iba from Europe, Indian. So iba iba yung mga tao talaga sa Singapore. And I'm telling you, para siyang art museum that even I nalito when I was sorting the video clips. Kung tama bang sa time capsule ko ilagay yung clips or baka sa art science museum na sila. Then for the next one, ito na yung legit na art museum. So we went to art science museum. It's not the same day as the SG Flyer and the Skyline Luge. So nung fifth day namin, we went to art science museum sa Marina Bay. It's an interactive museum that's mainly about arts, science, and technology. So ang daming amazing things na pwedeng itry dito and masaya rin umaura for your IG posts. I really enjoyed the part where you can draw aquatic animals, then you scan them, then you'll be able to see them swimming in the aquarium. And that's my little red shark swimming. 
if they have the aquarium version, they also have something for the things that fly naman. So may airplane but I chose to color this beautiful butterfly and watch it fly. I didn't have anything specific na gusto kong ilagay or i-color dun sa butterfly so I just did it like this. And then I scanned it and then there's my green butterfly flying. I really love this spot here. It's a must to take a photo pang IG. Also, outside the museum, and there are lots of purple lotus flowers and parang nire ready na kami for the next activity. And so we went straight to Gardens by the Bay. Same date nung pumunta kami sa Art Science Museum. Dito sa Gardens by the Bay, meron kaming four different spots na pinuntahan. The Flower Dome, the Cloud Forest, the OCBC Skyway, and the Super Tree Observatory. Let's talk about the Flower Dome first. So in fairness, malamig sa loob, hindi katulad sa labas kasi mainit sa SG. No? Then, hindi ka pagpapawisan kapag nag-iikot ka and kapag nag-enjoy kang tumingin or na mga different plants inside. The dome is full of different plants and flowers and it's two floors ha. Imagine having to visit a flower garden na sobrang laki. For me, it's seven talaga. And sobrang nice kasi sobrang colorful and it's really great to see some of my favorite flowers aka daisies and tulips. Dito sa flower dome, like kung pwede ko lang iuwi, iuwi ko talaga tong mga to. <laughs> I think during the time when we visited, they have an event the Tulip Mania flower display, kaya sobrang daming tulips na makakita doon sa loob ng flower dome. And I love it kasi I really love tulips niya, like what I said earlier. I love it here, it makes me want to have my own flower garden. Pwede lang, di ba? Gusto ko yun. Pangarap yarn. You know what? Naging avatar ako for a second when we went to Cloud Forest because they featured avatar and the experience when we went there. But I think the Avatar exhibit will only last until June 30. So if you're kayo and you want to see the Avatar exhibit, pwede kayong pumunta dun until June 30 para makita siya. So unlike the Flower Dome, Cloud Forest doesn't have a lot of flowers, pero they have big plants and para ka talagang nasa forest. <laughs> okay, that's why it's called Cloud Forest, right? What am I saying? What am I saying? Anyways, its structure is really amazing. They were able to build something like a forest inside a dome. So this is my very first forest experience, I must say. And it's moisty inside like it's real. They also have this parang sa Art Science Museum. Just to give you a glimpse of how it looks like when you walk through the forest, it's like this. Right after our cloud forest experience, we went to the Super Tree Grove where you can try walking on the OCBC Skyway and sightseeing the Super Tree Observatory. Not for those with fear of heights, medyo nakakakaba sa OCBC Skyway kasi what if mahulog yung gamit ko, di ba? <laughs> Hindi strict, pero uh, they advise you to stay for 15 minutes lang dun sa Skyway so other people can go up then. Mainit dito sa OCBC Skyway, especially if terik yung araw. Pumunta kasi kami doon ng tanghari, so yung araw talaga is terik. But I think it's beautiful at night kasi maganda yung lights dito sa Super Tree. Then, we went to the Super Tree Observatory after the OCBC Skyway and you'll actually be able to walk around the tree para mag sightseeing. They also have a cafe here, so if medyo gutom na kayo or you want to buy something to eat or to drink, pwede pwede yan. But the nicest thing here is the rooftop for me, ha? Because you'll be able to see a lot more. Dito sa Gardens by the Bay, we booked a shuttle. From the shuttle service, tinala kami ni shuttle service dun mismo sa may mga attraction. So after namin matapos yung lahat ng attractions na binook namin, pumunta lang ulit kami dun sa may shuttle service, pabalik naman. Si Art Science Museum, si Gardens by the Bay, including um, Cloud Forest, Flower Dome, OCBC Skyway, and the Super Tree Observatory, lahat naman sila nasa Marina Basin. So hindi siya mahirap puntahan ng isang araw lang. From Art Science Museum, maglalakad lang kayo papunta 
sa Gardens by the Bay. So out of all the activities we did in SG, I think I enjoyed the Skyline Luge the most. I just wish we had another hour there because we were not able to try the two, the two tracks. I really had a great time when I was in SG. I think if you love to travel, you should visit Singapore and try the different activities here. Kahit isang beses lang in your life. That's it for today's video. I'll talk about the foods that we ate in SG next week, so stay tuned. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give this a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can follow me on social media. I put the links below. See you again next week, everyone. Bye! Then, si Sky Dining naman will let you skip the queue supplier. Wait, ouch. Ha <laughs> ha! Nakagat ko siya.